Head on, the monstrum stuck into the building from the roof. They then headed toward the Governor General's office, taking care to remain hidden from the staff inside all the while. Lindheim isn't back yet. Don't play dumb with me. Everyone knows the Governor General's office is still running. But it's true, we don't have any idea where he's gone. We're only acting in accordance with the policies from before his disappearance. Damn it all. Iris! What the heck are you guys doing here? Those clothes. You're the monstrums. Don't worry, we're only here to stop Iris. Whatever your reasons, they can't be worth killing in cold blood. The life of the assassin is totally for her. Indeed, there's no resolution to be gained from this. Oh, shut up, shut up. You think I don't know that already? Whatever it takes to avenge my father is nothing compared to what Rom has done. But for all the people that care, those invaders might as well be the rightful rulers of Glia. They stole it all of our father's hands from the hands of our family. Your family? You don't mean... I don't believe it. Miss... No. My lady. Oh, are you gonna tell me that she's royalty? Could you perchance be Her Highness Princess Eleanor? Oh, yeah, she, she's a princess. Eleanor? Princess? I'm just as shocked as you are, Credo. The Iris you know is an alias made by the man who raised me to protect my identity. My real name is Eleanor, firstborn princess of the Gleam royal family. Or was, or it was, before their downfall of, after their Erdlingen War eight years ago. As far as the rest of the world knows, I just ended up dropping off the face of the earth. What? Iris, your royalty? I've heard stories of how the royal family met their end, but... I was there, hidden in a closet. I watched as Roman soldiers gutted my father like swine. Everything went black after that. The shark was too much for me to bear. When I came to, I had already been left in the care of society's shadows. Since then, the thought of revenge has been the only thing keeping me going. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I will say this. You do at least have a solid reason for your vengeance. It is redeeming you a bit. But not entirely. Re revenge against those who prided, who pried Glia's crown from my father's cold, dead hands. Revenge on the Cardinal who took his place as if it were nothing. But I cannot even manage to do that much. I will not get another chance on his life if I am captured again. I'll just have to settle for taking yours in this place. You are shaken. But why? I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Iris. I understand your pain, your highness. But if I may, I'd like to shine a bit of light on your circumstances. Cardinal Lindheim, uh, he did everything in his power to try and save the royal family. He what? During the war eight years ago, he sought a path to meditate mediation as a cardinal of the church. He'd even exchanged letters with your father, King of Glia, to that very end. In their lust for glory, the Roman army turned their swords to fell the royal castle. Your disappearance has haunted him as if the greatest regret ever since, your highness. And three years ago, the cardinal was set to succeed the previous governor general. He felt it's his responsibility as a Roman to restore some measure of peace in his land, and to one day deliver you the leather. Oh, it turns out you were wrong, loser. This leather. My dearest Eleanor, the end of this bloodshed will mark a new beginning for Glia's history. I have secretly made arrangements to secure even the slightest chance of you making it out alive. You are still so young, but I believe a new path for this Glia lies in your future. As I write this letter, I ask you to remember me, not as a king, but as your father. I love you, my child. My greatest wish above all else is a happy life for you. Father. Cardinal Lindheim came across this letter after all, after the war. Since his appointment, we've been told to give this to you, should you ever be found. He considered it the least he could do to atone for his failures to intervene. 
could I have been so stupid? I, I, I totally believe you were so stupid. My father, the man who raised me, never stopped to think about how they might have felt. For eight years, my only thoughts would have been retribution. What happened to me? You're, you're like, what, 14? Eight years. So, like, you've been, like, seeking revenge since you were, like, six? I don't know how old you are. You're, like, what, 15, 16? That, it sounds a lot more believable that way. Did they ever say Iris's age? I don't remember. Iris, you can't be blamed. You can't blame yourself. It was eight whole years ago. You couldn't have been older than five, four or five. Oh, okay, yeah, wait. You were like four or five? So you're 12 right now? 12 to 13? That's crazy. Anyone else in your position would have ended up feeling the same way. New path, huh? For better or worse, none of your ploys at assassination have managed to succeed. But the outcome of this attempt is at your intended victim's discretion. What happened here today was not more than a little tiff. You merely came to receive a letter from your late father is all. I don't see anything worth reporting about that. Real slap on the wrist you're given there. We should all be that generous about going feral in town. Way to ruin the moment. Lay this message to Lindheim for when he returns. I will leave the sovereignty of Glia in your hands. For now. But if I ever see you let the welfare of this land or its people get put into peril, I'll kill you dead without a second thought to spare. I'll be sure to let them know. I'm just happy we could help. Oh hey, it's it. Okay. I knew Iris was at least like 14. I didn't realize she was 12. Oh yeah, chat's saying she's 12. I mean, they said it in the cutscene. She couldn't, she was like four or five. That means she was like, she's like 12 or 13. I can't believe this four or five. I mean, I'm not saying anything. Like, I feel like eight years old. I feel like four or five is fine, but like to want vengeance, to want revenge at four or five seems really early. I feel like seven or eight is a better, is a more likely age to want that kind of vengeance. <laughs> Crazy that this 12 year old is going out being a murderer and then, you know, she was uh, wrong. But anyway, that's done. Uh, let's go do these other quests because we can't give this thing the silhouette. Uh, let's go do a Prilis' trial really quick. It shouldn't take very long. Wait, is the Prilis' trial not the wanted monster? That might be something- Oh, it's just a normal quest. Let's just do this one. Oh, you've come. Let's begin the trial at once. Are you prepared? Wait, not so fast. We're not even sure what you're requesting. What kind of trial is it exactly? My proposal couldn't possibly be any simpler. Your capabilities have been improving steadily thus far. It's about time I trained you to reach your fullest potential for those monstrums. Our fullest potential? That makes us a private lesson of sorts, then. But why don't you say so? You and me and Prillis one-on-one. -on -one. I'll take you on, on any day of the week. I'm afraid that cannot be done. If you're not, you'll still get the challenge you desire. What say you, Crimson King? Yeah. In that case... You express your interest in taking on a Prillis' challenge. Very well, let's begin then. We're gonna do like a Nox battle or something. Now, Monstrum, show me the extent of your power. Look at Carol, he started a guild at 12. Starting a guild and being a mer Starting a guild and wanting vengeance are two completely different things. I feel. Starting a guild at 12 is a lot more likely for a 12-year-old than, you know, go searching for murder. I mean, I'm not really so surprised at the fact that she's like 12 years old and she's looking for murder. I'm more surprised... I'm more surprised at the fact that she wanted revenge since she was 4 or 5. The fact that she wanted the revenge since she was 4 or 5 is unbelievable to me. 
The fact that she's a murderer at 12 and assassin at 12 years old is not that surprising. Oh, uh, fine, but only because we got a oh, troublesome bunch. Let's make quick work of them. The fact that, like, at 4 or 5, she's just like, yeah, I want vengeance. That's a little unbelievable to me. Hi, losers. I'm confused, by the way. I hate confusion in this game. I'm too good, by the way. Who has impact? Oh, Hawk. You too good? I am amazing. What's this uh, move do? Alright, that's, that's definitely better than Fox Shot Blade. Because I have this spinny spin move. Oh, boss time? Oh, hey. By the way, they're level 54. What the hell, dude? Level 54. Wow. Shut the escape, by the way. Grab for now, go. I'm too good. Oh, I'm Renegade. When did they switch to Renegade? That killed me, really? Why are these mechs so annoying? I do love that new move I got. And their laser, the hitboxes on their missiles are so hard to time. Shunt escape, by the way. Oh, gear. I did not know that was an attack you could do. There might be one more thing after this, I would assume. better at dodging these things that's that's the key here that's the key to most of these i'm gonna hold off to my uh burst for the next uh fight oh is that it i guess so now that's what i call a challenge Guess it's worth taking the she devil up on their demands from time to time. Oh, you're the only one enjoying yourself here, you know. Yeah, I'm at my limit. That battle was of comparable difficulty to that of the full moon. The trial's complete, exceptionally done, everyone. While there's much room for improvement, I am most pleased with your performances. Um, thanks. I'm not even sure whether the sigh in relief or exasperation, or both. Still, Aquila seems a bit more chippier than usual today, don't you think? Chipper, did I say chippier? Trisha. Huh? Um, yes. You're greatly lacking in fortitude, as you are no doubt already aware. Try, and, try varying the pace of your movements. Doing so should save you much undue harm. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll keep that in mind. Anemona, Jules, your actions, while, meta while meta methodical, could use more efficiency. Anticipate your adversary's next move before proactively responding in kind. 
You'll find your fighting prowess should become much more refined as a result. I see. I was not aware of such. Thanks for the tip. You fight, you fight with your utmost, and Credo, your battle instincts are a boon to be sure. Your emotional volatilities, volatilities have a tendency to undermine your performance. Exercise temperance and you will better cultivate your respective potentials. Uh, what's that supposed to be a compliment? You're banking on making me feel all fuzzy inside, you're out of luck. Seeing as I had such a good time here, I'll save you the trouble of making a scene. Would that your judgments, judgment were always so sound? In any event, wait. Yeah, would that your judgment were always so sound? Alright. In any event, here's your reward for completing the trial. Thank you. Oh, oh I should have said the second one. There is no advice for me. She didn't say anything. Always a straightforward one, aren't you? I'll be counting on your efforts in battle as well, Crimson King. I'll be expecting even greater diligence from the rest of you here on, Monstrums. Kinda odd how she didn't, right. um, that went great. say anything about at all. Alright, that's two quests down. There should be two more to do. Let's go get that thing for Yufa before I keep forgetting. Can I grab this chest now? No, you're still here. Shadow dive. How do I pass this night? There's gotta be something I can do. Oh! Oh, it's just a glitch. Diving in. Okay, you can't get this now. I don't know how these work, but I don't really care that much. Look we'll at this, uh, Yufa outfit. I said that option. She says you don't need advice. Nice. Please looking for anything specific? Now I need unfading hide. You've got to be kidding me. I need unfading hide and relic bone. I doubt Archie is going to be able to give it to me, but now I got to figure it out. Yeah. Any right more beast hides? E10? I could do that. I need to go to the... Twilight Shard place. I can just get it here. That's good. Go back to- oh, it's a side quest. What side quest is that? Is that a new one? Yeah, we got three then. There's a new one right here. We're gonna go take a look at that. After getting Yufa's thing. Isn't it near the Knight's Chapter House? No. Actually, it kind of is close to it. Am I up here? Yes, I can. Perfect. 